Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm here with my friend today, who is Alex. He's setting up the PlayStation 2. And we're going to do a video, first in the series, called Console Comparisons. Today, we're looking at two of the biggest consoles in all of gaming history. The original Xbox and the original PS, PlayStation. So, most of you are going to say down in the comments, No, it should be the original Xbox and the PS2, or the original PlayStation and the N64, when actually it's the original Xbox and the original PlayStation. Who did it better? And other people can say, no, it's years apart. That's so unfair. Don't care. And for the Xbox, another thing people are going to say is, why well, the updated controller, not the original like you have with the PlayStation 1? Because I have the original PlayStation 1 controller and the updated Xbox Duke controller. And you're going to probably say, oh my god, how dare you, when I don't actually care. I'm just going to get on with it because that's the only controller we had. So it's either no controller or a controller. Anyway, so here's our original Xbox. As you can see, it's a pretty large system. Here's its controller. Original PlayStation's controller and original PlayStation. As you can see, both of the consoles are probably really, really good. Okay, let's do the first comparison. Starting with the Xbox. The Xbox, we're going to do, for the rounds, we're going to do best design, best controller, and best graphics. No, actually, no. Cancel graphics, because the PS1 would obviously lose to that, because this is another generation. This is another generation. We're just going to do design controllers, okay? So, coming from the Xbox, we have a really... Really, actually, yeah, we're doing graphics, but I will get into that in a second. So from the original Xbox, it's actually pretty good. I like the design of it. You can have four charges, um, controller slots so that you can play with this controller. Talking about controllers, this controller feels really good. You can, it feels like a normal controller, although I think it is a bit big. And it has no backbone buttons, so it's pretty... It's all right, although I would, I think here's the trigger buttons, although I have not played this thing, so I don't like how the backbone buttons aren't here, that's a down point for this. Anyway, it's got a nice little button, you can just click it, boom, and here, out comes your game, on button, simple enough. Moving on to PlayStation, the PlayStation is a really good feature because it's smaller than the Xbox, um, down point for the PlayStation, it's only got two controller slots, now you could buy the multi-tap. But I don't expect that in the system. I expect some controller slots already there for me. Well, sort of. Anyway, it's got a nice opening button. So you can have a nice opening button. Pretty easy to see. You have a nice on button and a nice reset button. Now, a little point thing I wanted to say about the PS4. When I first saw PS4, I didn't like the system. You PS4 fans are going to be raining down on me like, oh, you like PS1 instead of PS4? You're so old. You're old enough to be my dad. Whatever. I like how the system is going to say, oh, here's the on button. Here's the um, eject button. Here's the reset button. I know now, as with the PS4, it's sort of smaller and you have to like click the button and it's really hard to find. At least for me. Anyway, so... The controller for the PS1, obviously, it has the nice backbone sticks, and although it's a PlayStation controller, it feels really nice to hold. Uh, you got your start and select button. Um, it doesn't have joysticks, because uh, we don't have any updated um, PlayStation 1 controllers, although what we do have is... Oh, uh, sorry about that, guys. I thought we had a PS2 controller. Um, obviously, we don't, but whatever. Um, so it feels really nice, and so this round of design... of Controller and design goes to PlayStation. And now all your Xbox fans are going to be spasting out at me, but the Xbox, okay, it's a familiar design, but it does look like an Xbox. Mrs. Granny over here probably would go, oh, Jeremy wanted an Xbox. Yeah, this looks like the newest tech. Says Xbox, looks new, buy it for him. As PlayStation 1, you can obviously tell it's not the newest generation of console. Now, Xbox fans, you may say, no, this doesn't look new at all. Compare it to the new Xbox 360, and you'll see the similarities. Unless you're ragey Xbox fans who don't want to compare it and just want to say, no, Xbox is better. 
And you might be saying, well, the controller does have joysticks. The updated PlayStation 1 controller has the joysticks nicely in place where you can reach them. As Xbox, one's up here, one's down here, which makes it a bit weird to control at times. But once you get used to them, they're pretty good. So I'm not saying Xbox is bad, I'm just saying the controller is a bit whack for the original. They said we're updating them. They don't have backbone buttons. I expect them to be here so I can just go click, click, click. But it feels really unnatural when you're down here. And the, the here, what if you have your hand on the up opposite side and you have to reach one of these? But I was very close to giving it to Xbox because of its four controller ports. But the PlayStation just, yeah, it's just a unique design. The controller is so much better. It overall wins. Okay, graphics. Now, every single person is going to be hating on me for this because PS1 is 1995, 6. This is 2001. Hear me out. I'm going to compare the graphics, which obviously we know the winner is Xbox. But I'm also going to pair the storyline of the games and how good the games actually are. Because graphics isn't anything. Okay, so a lot of Xbox games like Halo and stuff have a great storyline, don't they, Alex? Yes, Halo has a great storyline. Because he's playing Sega right now. But they have great storyline and everything. So do PS1 games. It's really hard to give a definitive winner here. But I have to say, Xbox has better storylines. Yes, I'm evening it out. It does have better storylines. PlayStation fans may say, oh no, that's whack. It actually may have better storylines. I'm sorry, but you may say, what about Spyro and Crash Bandicoot? Sorry, but they do. This has more games and just more storyline and better graphics overall. So, yep, it wins overall. But overall, this is the definitive thing that will cancel it off. Like, what will be good the winning thing that, that that will happen. Final round is the weight of it, how maneuverable it is, and how to bring it along, and how it does on TVs. To how it does on TVs, I have to give it to Xbox because it doesn't go all stretched out. Like with my PS1, if I put it on a flat screen like that, it won't really stretch it out. But if you put it on a flat screen that's a bit bigger, it will stretch the picture out just a little bit. I just found that out because this... Is meant to be on a 90s TV. This is meant to be on a 2000s TV. And 2000s TVs aren't just a slight bit bigger than, smaller than those ones. So it does work. Next, the weight, the maneuverability of these consoles. This round, this maneuverability goes to PlayStation because if you have an Xbox and you're like, oh, Danny, I've got so much stuff, I can't really pick up my Xbox and bring it, you can come back and get another load. But if you want to be a I can't lift this up with my bare hand. As look at the PlayStation over here. I'm not actually just being like, oh, he'll be weak and I'll not even try. I am trying my hardest with this. I'm giving it to fair because I love Xbox and PlayStation just as much. As with the PlayStation, it's literally as light as something. And now, I guarantee you Xbox fans are going to be leaving hateful comments on PlayStation because they're going to be like, gee, it looks like a toilet seat. Here. This is just really difficult, the system, to actually maneuver around. If you say, very, very young, which I guarantee very, very young people will play this in the 2000s, they would have gone, oh, Dad, can we get the Xbox off whatever? And they would have wanted to transfer it. And they could have been young and not as strong as me. I'm not very strong, actually. I'm pretty much the fuck... Anyway. <laughs> um, they wouldn't be able to... Um, lift this up because it's a bit of a hard heavy console now you guys tell me in the descriptions don't leave hateful comments like oh but xbox is better oh playstation's better <laughs> tell me which one your favorite is but just because i'm gonna have to do this i'm gonna give the final win to playstation i'm sorry all you xbox fans you're probably like oh my god <laughs> How dare you assault Xbox that way? Too bad. The PlayStation's a more recognisable console. If you're walking by the PlayStation so you can go, and you're not very big on consoles, you'll definitely go, ha, huh, that's the original PlayStation. Because it says PlayStation. Oh, I get it now. But if you get to the Xbox, you'll go, is this the Xbox 360 or what? Because if you're not very familiar with systems, sure, if you look them up, you'll definitely know that one of those is an Xbox 360, but you might not recognize what Xbox this is. Anyway, that, that's my opinion. If you have different opinions, you can have different opinions, but 
that's my opinion. So don't leave hateful comments in the don't leave hateful comments in my comment section just because you like Xbox more. I'm just giving the round to PlayStation because that's the system I think is the better one. I'm going to do more of these videos and hopefully you agree with me in the other ones. That's it for now.